Let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiriti Santi. Amen. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stopped whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false with accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization will. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope St. Peace the Tenth and Pope St. John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who family work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in the inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Oh, my God. 
Mas at Makamura. The words we picked up on you to do COVID-19, this is... Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Inclorajo Special Report. Today is Sunday, May 16, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclorajo Facebook page and the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To formally start our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today. From John chapter 4, verse 14. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Oh, 
Welcome back to the Inco Radio Special Report. This afternoon, we will discuss to you about the Our Lady of Fatima. May 13 is the anniversary of the apart apparition of Our Lady to three shepherd children in the small village of Fatima in Portugal in 1917. She appeared six times to Lucia and her cousins Francisco and his sister Jacinta between May 13, 1917 and October 13, 1917. The story of Fatima begins in 1916. A resplendent figure appeared to the three children who were in the field tending the family sheep. I am the angel of peace, said the figure who appeared to them two more times that year, exhorting them to accept the sufferings that the Lord allowed them to undergo as an act of reparation for the sins which offended him and to pray constantly for the conversion of sinners. Then on the 13th day of the month of Our Lady, May 1970, an apparition of a woman all in white, more brilliant than the sun, presented itself to the three children saying, Please don't be afraid of me. I am not going to harm you. Lucia asked her where she came from and she responded, I come from heaven. The woman wore a white mantle edged with gold and held a rosary in her hand. The woman asked them to pray and devote themselves to the Holy Trinity and to say the rosary every day to bring peace to the world and to the end of, of and to the war or conflicts she also revealed that the children would suffer especially from the unbelief of their friends and families and that the two younger children francisco and jacinta would be taken to heaven very soon but lucia would live longer in order to spread her message and devotion to the Immaculate Heart. In the last appar apparition, the woman revealed her name in response to Lucia's question. I am the Lady of the Rosary. That same day, 70,000 people had turned out to witness the apparition. Following a, pre a promise by the woman that she would show the people that the apparitions were true. They saw the sun make three circles and move around the sky in an incredible zigzag movement in a manner which left no doubt in their minds about the veracity of the apparitions. By 1930, the bishop had approved of the apparitions and they had been approved by the church as authentic. The messages Our Lady imparted during the apparitions to the children concerned the violent trials that would afflict the world by means of war, starvation, and the persecution of the Church and the Holy Father in the 20th century if the world did not make reparation for sins. She exhorted the Church to pray and offer sacrifices to God in order that peace may come upon the world and that the trials may be averted. Our Lady of Fatima revealed three prophetic secrets. The first two of which were revealed earlier and referred to the vision of hell and the souls languishing there. The request for an ardent devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the prediction of the Second World War, and finally the prediction of the immense damage that Russia would do to humanity by abandoning Christian faith and embracing Wait a minute. by abandoning the Christian faith. The term sacred, the third secret was not revealed until the year 2000 and referred to the persecutions that humanity would undergo in the last century. The good will be martyred, the Holy Father will have much to suffer, various nations will be annihilated. The suffering of the popes of the 20th century has been interpreted to include on May 13, 1981, coinciding with the 64th anniversary of the apparitions, 
the neck the there was and that it is the assassination the assassination attempt on then pope john paul the second or saint john paul saint pope john paul the second the holy father attributed his escape from certain death to the intervention of our lady it was the mother's hand that guided the bullet's path and in his throes the pope halted at the threshold of death what is the central meaning of the message of fatima nothing different from what the church has always thought it is as cardinal ratzinger or now the former pope pope benedict the 16th has put it the exhortation to prayer as the path of salvation for souls and likewise the summons to penance and conversion perhaps the most well-known utterance of the apparition of our lady fatima was her confident declaration that my immaculate heart will try you. Cardinal Ratzinger has interpreted this utterance as follows. The heart open to God, purified by contemplation of God, is stronger than guns and weapons of every kind. The fiat of Mary, the word of her heart, has changed the history of the world. Because it brought the Savior into the world, because thanks to her, yes, God could become man and our world and remain so for all time. The evil one has power in this world, as we see and experience continually. He has power because our freedom continually lets itself be led away from God. But since God himself took a human heart and thus and has thus steered human freedom towards what is good, the freedom to choose evil no longer has the last word. From that time forth, the word that reveals is this. From John chapter 16, verse 32. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. The message of Fatima invites us to trust in this promise. In summary, May 13 marks the anniversary of the first of six appar apparitions of the Virgin Mary to three shepherd children of Fatima, Portugal, Lucia dos Santos and her cousins Francisco and Jacinta Marto, for tending sheep in central Portugal in 1917 where when they had a vision of a woman surrounded by light who identified herself as the early, as the lady of the rosary she exhorted them to pray the rosary for world peace and over the course of her six apparitions gave the children three secrets she promised a miracle in october and on the 13th of that month a crowd of perhaps seventy thousand people witnessed a miraculous solar phenomenon in which the sun appeared to fall toward earth after initially questioning the authenticity of the children's visions, the Vatican accepted them as appearances of the Virgin Mary, and Fatima became the location of one of the greatest Marian shrines in the world, visited by thousands of pilgrims each year. And so remember, uh, when my mother went to Portugal in 2017, uh, she visited the Fatima, one of the pilgrim sites of Christianity in the, which are visited by thousands of people throughout the world and uh, Our Lady of Fatima uh, what okay, the Our Lady of Fatima them as appearances of the Virgin Mary sorry guys sorry sorry Why is the Our Lady of Fatima important? Fatima is of the most important Catholic shrines in the world dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Fatima's sanctuary welcomes millions of pilgrims and tourists from all over the world. Fatima is a town and parish located north of Portugal's, Portugal's capital city of Lisbon. This town is one of the most important Catholic shrines in the world dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Fatima's sanctuary welcomes millions of pilgrims and tourists from all over the world. Fatima's fame is due to the apparitions of the Our Lady of Rosary, or also known as the Our Lady of Fatima, that appeared to three shepherd children of Fatima, Lucia dos Santos and her two younger cousins, Francisco and Jacinta. Between May and October of 1917, 
The three children witnessed several apparitions. The last one on October 13 was confirmed by a miracle witnessed by 60,000 people in the Catholic world as the day the sun danced. Fatima now attracts thousands of pilgrims from all over the world, particularly on the pilgrimage days in May and October. Moreover, the large torchlight processions in the evening are particularly impressive, led by cardinals and bishops. The pilgrims gather in Cova de Iria, an, en an enormous plaza where a little chapel was built and where the Virgin Mary is believed to, be, to have appeared. Around the plaza are a considerable number of shops and staff selling various religious articles. On the far side of the plaza rises the Greek Basilica built in a neoclassical style with a central tower 65 meters high. The construction of the basilica began in May 13, 1928. In the basilica are the tombs of the two of the three visionary siblings, Francisco and Jacinta Marto. They died in 1919 and 1920, respectively, and were beatified in 1970. The third, Sir Lucia dos Santos, died in 2005. So I remember that in, uh, when my mother uh, went to Portugal as a, uh, in May 2000, uh, April 2017, she visited Fatima, one of the, because there is a most important Catholic shrine in the whole world that is mostly visited by a lot of uh, two, two, Tourists and uh, tourists from all over the world visit Fatima. So, Lucia said that the lady emphasized acts of reparation and prayers to console Jesus for the sins of the world. Lucia said that Mary words are, When you make some sacrifice, say, O Jesus, it is for your love, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Fatima has since become one of the most important shrines in Roman Catholicism. Pope Paul VI, the former Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, put his stamp of authority on it by mentioning it during the Second Vatican, where the papal visit and the meeting with Lucia on the 50th anniversary of the apparitions in Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's wait a minute. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Mahal na Birhen ng Fatima, ipanalangin mo kami. Sino si Mahal na Birhen? Ito ang Mahal na Birhen ng Fatima. O, bihe, o Birhen ng Fatima, Kami dumudulog sa mahal mong alindog ay napakukukok. Sa amin ipinakipakita, landas ng ginhawa, darasalin namin ina, rosaryo mo, kuina. Pangako mo ay tukdin, hiniling namin dinggin, digmaan ay pawiin lahat pag-isahin. Inay wag si ay ayuin ang aming dalangin. 
kami lahat ay ampunin at itong bayan namin. Sino si Mahal na Binhen ng Fatima? Mayo 13, ang anibersaryo ng pagpapakita ng, ma ng Mahal na Birhen. Sa tatlong batang pastol, sa maliit na bayan sa Fatima sa bansang Portugal noong 1970. Nagpakita siya ng anim na beses kina Lucia at ang kanyang pinsan si Jacinta at Francisco. Ang kwento ng Fatima ay nagsimula noong 1916 nang sa kabila ng kasagsagan na ikaunang digmaang pangdaigig na ipinakilala sa Europa ang pinakamalagim at makapangyarihang uri ng pagkikidigma na hindi pa kailan manakita. Isang nagingiging na anyo ang nagpakita sa tatlong bata na, na pinapastol ang mga alagang tupa sa pastulan. Ako ang anghel ng kapayapaan. Marahil ang pinakan, pinakatanyag sa sinabi sa aparisyon na bahal na birhen ng Fatima ay ang kanyang taas noong pagpapayag sa mag, na pagtatagumpay ang aking kalinis-inisang puso. Bihinigyan ka ulga nito ng dating santo pa, pa na si San Benedict, ang pangalan ng dating Santo Papa ay si Benedicto o si Cardinal Ratzinger ng ganito. Ang pusong bukas sa Diyos, dinalisay ng pagbubuhay, bulay-bulay sa Diyos, ay mas malakas kaysa mga sandatan ng kahit anong uri. Ang otoridad ni Maria ang salita ng kanyang puso ay nabago ang kasaysayan ng mundo dahil dinala niya ang tagapagligtas sa mundo dahil salamat sa kanya. Maaring maging tao ang Diyos sa mundo at nanatiling gayon sa habang panahon. Ito ang panalangin sa na sa mahal na birheng na Fatima. O Maria, matamis na birhen, reyna ng Rosario, alang-alang sa makainang pagdalaw mo sa Cova da Iria de Fa ng Fatima upang ipinahayag ang makatarungang plano at pagmamahal ng Diyos sa lahat ng tao. Kami ay lumalapit sa iyo at napaampon sa iyo bilang aming makalangit na ina. Dala na mahabang panahon na pakikipag-ugnay ng aming parokya sa iyo at sa iyong walang sawang pagdalangin para sa aming mga kahilingan na nagpapayag sa iyong makainang paglingap sa amin, ikaw ang nagkaroon ng bahagi sa aming puso. Noon, ikaw ay nagpakita sa tatlong batang pastol. Iyong ipinahayag ang araw-araw na pagdarasal ng rosaryo upang matamo ang kapayapaan ng daigig. Gayun din ang pagpapasakit para sa pagbabalik loob ng mga makasalanan at bilang pagbabayad uri sa mga kalapastangang ginagawa namin laban sa iyong kalinis-inisang puso. Bilang pagtugon sa iyong kahiningan, kami na iyon ay nangangako na ialay namin sa araw-araw ang mga pagpapasakit nakaikibat ng aming pagganap sa aming banal na gawain. Gayun din ang araw-araw na pagdarasal ng rosaryo kasama ang buong angkan habang pinagninilayan ang mga misteryo nito at lalot higit ang, ang pagtatalaga ng aming sarili at pamilya sa iyong kalinis ninisang puso. Idalangin mo po kami na naway igawad ng Diyos sa amin ang kanyang dekilang habag at patawad sa lahat ng mga nagawa naming 
pagkakasalan na labis na naka sa sakit sa kanyang kalooban. Tulungan mo kami mahabaging ina na umiwas sa kasalanan na naglayo sa amin na siyang may lalang sa ating lahat. Sa iyong kalinis inisang puso, mahal na ina ng Fatima, kami ay nagtitiwala na matatagpuan namin ang awa at habag ng Diyos at makapamuhay kami sa kapayapaan, pagkakaisa at tabak at pagmamahalan. Patuloy mong ipamalas ang inyong makainang pan, pagkandili sa aming lahat at ituro mo sa amin ang landas na patungo na sa iyong anak na si Jesus na aming Panginoon at nagapagligtas na siyang pinagmumulaan pinagmumula ng tunay na banal na rosaryo na tunay na kapayapaan at pagmamahal. Sa iyong kandili, pinagmamahal na ina ng banal na rosaryo, huwag mong sipayuin ang aming mga pagsamo. Bagkus sa iyong habag ay ipagkaloob o sa amin ang mga biyayang ipinakikiusap sa iyo, lalo-lalo na sa mga kahiningang ito. Dinggid mo ng buong giliw ang aming mga pagsamo sa iyong kalinis na minsang puso o mahal na birhen. Amen. Mahal na Birhen ng Fatima, panalangin mo kami. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Wait lang ha. Wait lang. Okay. Let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. First, we have our products for sale at the Hansen Inclusion Online Shop. We are now presenting to you our new t-shirt, one inclusion nation this is how it looks like so our t-shirts um sizes available are extra small range from extra small to double extra large Prices range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos. So, oh, but wait, there's more. We have our hands in inclusion stickers. We include our yes, it's 250 pesos, and the iniibi ko ang mga PINAY PWDs at 150 pesos. And the hands in inclusion tote bags range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos, small, medium, and large. If you want a text in the back, you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge. So our mode of payments are GCash and or PayMaya. On this number, flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan and Cebuana. You may message the Hanson Inclusion Facebook page for some instructions. It will deliver to you via Talk Talk, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines in the NCR Plus area. NCR, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal. The rest of the country, including Pampanga, it will deliver to you via LBC. If you want to donate for hands and inclusion, well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to hands and inclusion regardless no matter what it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to hands and inclusion 
You may do so via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support and for your generosity to hands and inclusion. So, so please, 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 please purchase our products on the hands and inclusion online shop right now. If you do, you'll be glad you did. Hansen Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop in our desktop and a strong internet connection, if you are committed to work, good attitude and character, and college graduate. If you're interested for these, you may send your resume at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. On May 21, 2021, Friday from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 6 o'clock in the evening, De La Salle College of St. Vinyard, in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education, Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, the Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute, and the Benugian Student Envoys will have a webinar about sensitivity and empathy. Our speakers are Dr. Therese Bustos and Mark Antikenio. The event will be done on Zoom. The event is free and there will be sign language interpreters available for the deaf and or the hard of hearing. Hansen Inclusion will have our fifth webinar series for this year. Any Meros, Aware for Mental Health. On May 29, 2021, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it will broadcast live on Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. On May 28, 2021, Friday, from 9 a.m. to 11.30 in the morning, My Nation, the board, the board room, will have our their activity about leadership during crisis, tackling mental health during the pandemic. The speakers are Merle J. Me, the global president of Densu McGarry Bowen, Mark Linsell, the Chief Executive Officer of Global English Region Transcom, Kevin Williams, Country General Head of Ring Central, Fyril Yagli, Chief Insights Officer, My Nation, Ajay Bangya, Director for the Geography Lead for Southeast Asia Qualitative Ipsos, and Kat Trivino, the Chief Marketing Officer of My Nation. You may register on bit.me slash my nation dash leadership. This is a partnership of between Ipsos, Ring Central, Transcom, and Avon, ECCP, and ECCP. Okay. With this, the most beautiful day in the universe, the 69th Miss Universe competition. This year's competition features the most beautiful women worldwide vying for the coveted sash and crown as Miss Universe. Before culminating its festivities, here are some of the trivia about the most prestigious pageant contest in the universe and the fun facts of, about our country's pride for 2021, Rabia Mateo. Rabia Mateo will represent the Philippines in the 69th Miss Universe. She won the crown as the Miss Philippines last 2020, along with the best swimsuit in the preliminaries. Aside from being a certified beauty queen, Rabia is an, also a licensed physical therapist. Entering this year's competition, the United States of America currently holds the most in Miss Universe wins with eight crown holders, followed by Venezuela with seven, Puerto Rico with five, and the Philippines with four, with Catriona Gray as its last winner in 2018. Viewers can expect something new in this year's pageantry as Miss Universe 2012 Olivia Culpo and celebrity host Mark Lopez take the mantle from Steve Harvey as its official host. Still, the record holding country for the longest winning drought in the competition is France with wins between 1953 and 2016, ending a 63-year wait for the crown. The main highlight of the competition is the 
Bulwark Power of Unity Crown, first introduced in 2019 by official jeweler Bulwark Jewelry. It was a golden canary diamond weighing over 62 carats, symbolizing ambition, diversity, community, and beauty. To whom will South Africa's Zazibini Tenzi pass over the, co the coveted sash and crown? Far not tomorrow on the 2020 on the 69th Miss Universe. Tomorrow at 7th to be broadcast live on A to Z Channel 11 at 7.30 a.m. live and 10.30 p.m. replay. And, and on Fox Live at around 8 p.m. or 7.30 a.m., I think. With a prime time encore on Fox Live at 8 p.m. There will be replays on Kapamilya Channel on May 23, Sunday at 9.45 in the morning in the, in the evening. Metro Channel on May 24, Monday, 12 noon and 10 p.m. May 26, Wednesday at 5 p.m. And May 29, Saturday, 8.30 in the morning. So, on behalf of Hands in Inclusion Philippines, we'd like to wish Rabia Mateo the best of luck. And we pray na sana maging Miss Universe 2021. Sana. Pagdasal natin na for Rabia Mateo to bring home the crown. And we wish her the best of luck for the competition in Miami, Florida. And it will be broadcast live here in the Philippines via A to Z and Fox Live tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Anyway, do you want to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow us on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Filipinas. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Gaming, Online Shop, and we have the Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Lihan, Inclu Gaming, and wait, wait, no. Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Lihan, Inclu Gaming, and the Online Shop on Facebook, and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those who did, thank you for your continuous support to Hanson Inclusion. This year, 2021. Anthony Inclusion is celebrating its fourth year anniversary with the theme, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. This is the true taste of One Inclusion Nation. Anthony Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involve with the sharing of stories of persons with disabilities and its advocates. We are promoting our in inclusion in our civilized society. Hands in Inclusion was founded on March 8, 2017 by Roylan Gorospe Marlang, a self-advocate with autism and a Benilgian alumni from Pasay City. The initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. Over the past four years, the achievements that we have done are the following. The Inclusion Ako campaign, the Hanson Inclusion online shop, interconnected multimedia files in social media, our live reports, such as One Inclusion Live Weekend, Editorial, the Inclusive Report, Open Arms, and the Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, and testimonials as well and the bazaar as well. For our webinars, we had four this year. AU testimonials or autism testimonials, connecting with Down syndrome, usaping inclusion para sa kababaihan and kwentong autismo. 
We also had partners with Ateneo Speed, um, Best Buddies Philippines, Patism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion, in the Psychological Society of Assumption. And we expect more partnerships with other PWD organizations as well. And the event that we will never forget is this. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020. Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. At hands in inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and to promote our culture in our civilized society. So, the best gift for us Remember, the best gift of a for wait, wait, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the best gift for us in this fourth anniversary of Hanson Inclusion is this. I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hands in Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We must learn how to show good attitude, attitude and show to be professional. Act like a neutral person. Your cooperation and our attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled. Wag maging kampante. Let us not be complacent. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos ang orga organisasyon na ito ng matagal. The reason why we're doing this is this is for us doing its best for being peaceful and systematic in our organization. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa lumang rehilyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang hands and inclusion sa panghinaharap at hiniling ninyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H and I, God first. Now it's have the time for our shout outs and greetings. For our birthday celebrants for today, Erica Nazareno Cruz, and the father of Jessica Malka, and the father of Vico Cham. Uh, wait, wait, lang, huh? wrong. It's wrong. Sorry. At all. For our birthday, sorry, ulitin po, ulitin po, ulitin po. For our birthday celebrants, uh, we have uh, the father of Jessica Malka, the father of Vico Cham, and Erica Nazareno Cruz. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To Mark Doktama, good afternoon po. Thank you for watching. I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following people. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Hands in Inclusion, especially to our founder, uh, Roy Lan Marlang, Billicent Macuse, Cedric Mariano, Asher Santos, Christian Chan, 
Arturo Cunanan, Bel Barria Mitchell, Kuya Yo, Marian Manrique, um, and also Jaira Sultan, TJ Parmarejo, Tara Francisco, and also um, to Mark, a uh, shout out po. Thank you, thank you for your shout for the shout out. Also, aside from Mark Doctama, good afternoon po. Sa Hansen Inclusion, we also have, aside from, we also have uh, Mam Gloria, Sir Hendrik, and uh, Mam Veronica, Miguel Besa, and the others. Good evening, good afternoon po sa Hansen Inclusion. Sa Best Buddies Philippines po, kay Ma'am Michelle Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, Cal uh, Ebora, Alan Angelo Nang, Ali Rojas, Angela Batalliones, Jessica Malca, Larry Aguirre, uh, Regina Feliciano, uh, Grace Loedin, uh, Nino Aventado, Pia Guanyo Mago, and the others po sa Best Buddies Philippines. Good afternoon po and thank you. Also to Best Buddies Benil, uh, Joella Laurito, Clarissa Gonzalez, Genevieve Gutierrez, Patricia Toralba, uh, Kiran Fanega, Brian Pabustan, Mary Rose Ake, Bea Aguilan, Nina Calderon, Sir Martin Romero, uh, Bobby Anonas, Jimmy Javier. We also have... Uh, Uh, Diane Resurrection, Tamara, uh, Chelsea Ann Batran, Ashley Valenton, uh, and the and the list goes on. Good afternoon, po, and thank you to Autism Society Philippines, uh, to Ma'am Mona Vilus. Good afternoon, po, and thank you. Autism Strong Philippines to Sir Remark Badilio, Sir Arden Asuncion. And Sir Joel Nava, good afternoon po and thank you. To Project Inclusion Network, to Ma'am uh, Ma Kate Pilin, Ma'am Pauline, and Sir Jim, good afternoon po and thank you. To the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, good afternoon po and thank you. A Child's Dream Foundation, to Dr. Francis de Malanta, good afternoon and thank you. To... Uh, Angat, PWD United, to Ma'am Carmen, Ma'am Gloria, Sir, Sir Hendrik, Sir Eliseo, and also um, Kaerol, and the others, uh, Ma'am Chiki, Ma'am Veronica, uh, good, good afternoon po and thank you. Also to Ateneo Speed, the Psychological Society of Assumption, Guild of Thomasian Speducators, and, uh, and other PWD organizations. Good afternoon po. And nagpasalamat din ako sa God, to the Divine Providence, na nagbibigay ako ng magandang buhay at magkaroon ng pagbabago sa akin. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your well-being and your mental health as well. And to Mark Doktama, God bless more to Hands in Inclusion. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sir Mark. Doktama. Also to Savan, to... Sir Kiko Francisco, good, uh, good uh, afternoon po and thank you. And also, um,
And also, uh, yun, yun lang. And also, I will be having, uh, wait. Oh, let's have the time. Okay, so uh, we only have a few minutes to go before we wrap up. Uh, uh, hi, Sir Mark. Uh, good afternoon po. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Bogo to everyone watching. Salamat po sa panunipag-nood. If you want to watch this again, it will be available later on the Hanson Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Wait lang. And also, um, Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, please continue to support Hanson Inclusion. Follow us on social media and buy our products from the Hanson Inclusion online shop. And also, you can also donate to Hanson Inclusion. It'll be the best time for you guys to do this. So, if you do this, you'll be glad you did. And also... I would like to read you our, before we wrap up, here now is our final uh, words for today. From H. Jackson Brown Jr. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. So what this, does this mean? First, we should continue to do things today. Finish the things you need today for you today before you go to tomorrow. Tapusin ang dapat kailangan tapusin ngayon para maghanda ka sa isang magandang bukas. And also to live life to the fullest regardless of what we do. If it's our work, study, or anything we do in our lives. Basta. Prepare the things for tomorrow. Do your best today. In essence, of this quote is, it simply means for one needs to improve its future, he or she must have to take the best reasonable efforts for today. How can we do this? We should be grateful. Train yourself to do one thing at a time. Start doing, ask yourself some questions. And of course, live life to the fullest and be motivated as well. Ang mas magandang pag, pag, uh, pag-aanda para bukas ay dapat masanay tayo ngayon.
Okay, and that is now the time to uh, wrap up our show of our editorial and One Inclusion Live joint special report on the Inclorage special report. I will be back again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the evening for the Monday edition of Editorial. On behalf of Inclo Radio and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying thank you, good afternoon, and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain pa tayo ng puong may kapal. Have a productive week ahead. We include our yes, we at Hanson Inclusion, Include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you for watching and have a good afternoon to all. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, magandang hapon, at salamat po sa panunood at paalam na po ngayon. Bye-bye!